I don't typically start these videos from the loading screen in the Hunter Classic, but with the 2022 Halloween event underway, I'm not really sure what to expect on a whole lot of levels, and I also wanted to include what is a pretty cool loading screen for Bush Rangers Run, and that is the first major change. The Halloween event this year is on a different map, and I am going to be very excited to see what is going on, but it certainly looks like it's going to be a whole lot more than just werewolves. So I did go ahead and set up our loadout on another map. I didn't want to even get to see the new shotgun until we come out here. So let's see what that looks like. Quite possibly the best model for the Halloween weapons. We still have the Wolfsbane 308 and crossbow pistol as well. And what I would say I noticed first is two things. One is the sounds are pretty similar to Timbergold, which is to be expected. But the other main one, at least here close to the lodge, the lighting's a little bit better, which I think is going to be nice both for videos and for just seeing whatever is going to attack us. So there's a big mission with a long list of objectives. I'm not going to actively seek out those objectives. Now, I think we're going to, by accident, do a bunch. But let's just run around out here and see what we get into. Now, that does not look like your typical feral goat. There is something going on there. And I mean, 40 meters away, probably a shotgun slug should work. Now, the other thing I read was that I think you're still supposed to go for heart and headshots. So I think what we'll do is essentially go for a heart or lung shot here. And we're going to kind of base that on what we know from the werewolves, being that a lung shot will kill him, it just takes time. And a heart or brain shot will insta-drop him. So hopefully... That will be a lung hit. I think it was. And I guess we'll go and see what the heck we just shot. Quite honestly, I'm a little afraid to just be making noise with a gunshot like that, but at least so far, no werewolf howls or anything. But there is one of the many objectives in the top left being crossed off the list there. Is it dead in this? It is. So a sabbatic feral goat which we will most certainly take a trophy shot of. And that is our first 12-gauge semi-automatic Maisto sawed-off shotgun Wolfsbane Harvest. That is a mouthful. My goodness, look at this thing. They really went all out for this. Not gonna lie, that's pretty well done. I like it. I went with the yellow sunglasses, by the way. We may even have them active right now. I'm not sure. We do not. I kind of thought it may help to light it up, but... That might be too much. We'll see. There, there were some areas for Timbergold in the past with the Halloween updates where you get into, like, really low light. And I felt like those could kind of help, but so far, Bush Rangers being so open and stuff ain't bad. Now, that really makes me wonder. That's the first animal we've encountered, and it was one of the event animals. And basically, my question is, are all the animals on the map going to be event animals, or are there going to be some regular ones? And... Maybe real soon here we'll find out. Oh my god, what was that? Are we about to get attacked? I see it. It is totally attacking us. That is insane. <laughs> That's horrifying, the sounds it is making. <laughs> that was worse than any werewolf that has ever attacked me. Not it running at us. I mean, it was slow enough. It, it's not that hard to hit, but... The sound. Goodness gracious. I, I wonder if they're all going to be the the black piebald with the markings and stuff for the sabbatic rarity or if they can have different variations. That was a hard shot, oddly enough. I don't think we'll trophy shot that one just because even though it was bigger, it was a female goat. But that actually was my other question. By the way, evidently, a charging sabbatic feral goat is also part of the mission. So... What I was wondering was, can we just sprint around like we always had on Timbergold Trails, and whatever's around will ultimately charge us, and it seems as though it will, but <laughs> now I want to know, what kind of other sounds are there? Things like the feral hogs that we know are definitely a part of this. It seems all we can find are the feral goats, but I mean, <laughs> might as well do this again. That is crazy, <laughs> the sound they make. See what we can do with the crossbow pistol. Eh, not too bad, we got a lung. I am curious how quickly that'll bring it down. But 
I'm hoping we run into something else here. I did get an objective for IDing three clues from any Zuna Red Fox. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that does make me think every single animal out here is probably an event animal, so it's probably going to be darn near non-stop no matter where you go. What is that? Oh my god. I don't even think that's the thing we saw. There's a crazy looking rabbit down there. Is that a rabbit? Do the rabbits attack? That is terrifying. I hate it. Get away from me. <laughs> Was the other one going to attack too? That killed it. Which I mean it's a shotgun slug. Wait. If they all attack, this is going to be a problem. Or is it just flea? Oh my god. <laughs> I guess we didn't hit it. Well, for one, I, I don't know if we should just assume they're all gone. But, okay. <laughs> That's a thing, too. The only silver bullets, or silver ammo, maybe I should call it, are shotgun slugs. There's no buckshot or birdshot. To save you in situations like that, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that word. But we are going to trophy shot that rabbit, because at least we got the one. Not too sure if that's cool or terrifying, but we'll go with it. Go ahead and accept that. Our goat should be somewhere down here. I feel like the shotgun's still the best option for the rabbits, but they're naturally going to be in little groups, and... I guess you just have to make those shots. Is that goat still alive? It is. Okay, so crossbow pistol, pretty good, but maybe not great. Okay. I swear there's something in this game, not just with like haunted animals, but when you get close to them, when they've bedded down, it seems like it speeds up the clock and they do end up expiring. But anyway, I think we're gonna get away from these rabbit burrows. That's a sound that we know really well. I decided to fast travel to another spot. And we've got a werewolf down here, so that, at least hopefully, will be a crossbow pistol one. And they're the species that I'm actually kind of most worried about. The reason is, and, and I think here's going to be okay. I think there's two. Maybe more. But there's so many areas of bushrangers that are just covered in rocks then I feel like that's going to be a problem. I went shotgun here because I don't know how many are still coming this way. That's that. I almost thought I heard a, a third one or a third something. We... That's a pig. What on earth? And there's still something else. Another pig. They sped them up. A hundred percent. Fast traveling is a, a risky game. We have one round still. I'm not going to claim anything until I'm absolutely certain that we're safe. What was that? Interesting that didn't spook from the shots, but let's mark that. I think we'll just kind of casually sneak over here and claim things. These guys look insane. A Wiro Feral Hog? Don't know if I'm saying that right either. Shotgun does a fantastic job with them. But let's uh just kind of lift that up and see real quick. Definitely a little creepy. I do have to say though, just already we've seen hogs, rabbits, the regular werewolves, and the feral goats. And I'm just I'm extremely impressed with what the devs have done for this year. And we know we're not done. I'm actually, now that I think of it, the kangaroos kind of scare me. Because think of how fast the kangaroos are already. If they did any kind of additional speeding up, like they very clearly did for the feral hogs there, that might not be a lot of fun. This guy was not bad. 346 score as our first werewolf of 2022. Probably our highest scoring first for a particular year. But, uh... Yeah, before we go and track the other werewolf, which luckily was long hit, so it's going to go down. I think we're just going to sprint over towards this kangaroo, actually. Change my mind, we are going to get a full pack of rounds and then sprint towards the kangaroo. 
Well, that's not a kangaroo. Which could be a problem. Probably best we kind of stand still. I want to get like a good flat area. That's normally the best way to consistently get the werewolves. Slowly but surely he's getting here. That took a long time. He must have been like at render. That is a female. Looked like a decent hit, but a lung again. At least everything's been fatal so far. Where's the kangaroo though? I'm not gonna lie, like it kind of creeps me out going over here. Because we know the other species have insane sounds. I don't know what that was, but I don't think we've heard it yet, so that could be it. If it is, I almost feel like tempted to aim that way, but if it doesn't come from that direction, that's a problem. It is a pig again, actually. Which, I guess we could have heard that sound and just not put it. They, I will say, at least when you can locate them, are probably the easiest to hit because they're they're so low to the ground. Their body naturally follows their brain, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it's easy to make that shot. We're really quickly going to start to run into the problem of losing track of things. Let's mark this and actually track the original werewolf and maybe that kangaroo will show up because otherwise we're going to start to miss out on stuff. There were two things there as well. Maybe a, a hog and a werewolf? It definitely does seem and it's kind of good, I think. The areas where you'd expect to find the animals regularly are where they're showing up. So you would think you'd see hogs around here and they seem to be here. And I saw access to your tracks, so... I'm pretty excited to find out what that is. There's a pig coming. Should have been... Several more from over there. That's a werewolf. That'll do. And I maybe the pig we heard came from that side. I thought it was straight in front of us. You can definitely get a little bit of odd sound things, like with directly in front of you, directly behind you. Maybe that's all that was. The pig was hit in the intestines, oddly enough. So I don't know if that's going to go down, but we have so much to track. We'll probably try to at least do the couple of lung hit ones first. I mean, if it's just never going to be possible to collect everything without running into more things, that guy's got a max estimate, though. Possible best werewolf ever, maybe? 172.7 kg, a 380 score. I think it is. I don't think we ever topped 380. What the heck? We'll tax that. No doubt. I always enjoy these kinds of trophy shots as well with this because the trophy shot poses for the werewolves just lend themselves to doing this. We also had a regular just call out from a werewolf, so it may or may not work its way over here, but talk about a, a fortunate marginal hit, the fact that we have to track this one down led us right to a monster. So two things, number one, I think we found our werewolf. But also number two, we have another one coming up here, so gonna make this super quick. Probably a bad idea, but oh, definitely a bad idea. Oh, albino as well. <laughs> that was gonna be really tough. We're gonna have to go back for that one. That's not gonna kill it, but this is what I was trying to get at before with this particular map. All the rocks and dips and uneven terrain can cause situations like that, and the solution really is to, when you hear werewolf or anything call out that's not close, get yourself into a spot where they're going to have to charge across flat ground. We didn't do it there, and we're going to have to go back and try to get a second shot. This might actually be a worse spot, but that's it again. Able to at least get the brain shot. I don't know how we did that, but we'll just accept our, our good fortune there. So first shot was in the skull, we were close. Second shot into the brain at 2.5 meters. And I suppose we'll take a trophy shot for our first albino of the 2022 event. There's just something odd about being able to see the character's eyes. <laughs> it just makes a really strange expression for standing next to a werewolf. But anyway, I did notice, and I think we still have that hog to track still. I think the kangaroos are fleeing, which is interesting. But if we can get onto another one, I do want to see what they look like. And then I believe that leaves us with only Red Fox as a species we haven't seen. Unless I'm missing something. We haven't seen access to here either. 
I'm pretty sure they were in the trailer, so... A couple more things to find then. So I pretty much decided to give up on that Feral Hog after more or less wading through a sea of charging Feral Hogs. And the Spooked Kangaroo earlier made me a little cautious here decided to call this guy in rather than kind of running at him. But look at that. That reminds me a lot of the... Actually, the old kangaroo event, the skin they did for that, and I kind of think the one this year is going to be similar, but let's see. Going for a hard shot, hopefully that's going to be a lung at the very least. We'll find out shortly it's in a spot that we can't actually see what the blood looks like, but I can only imagine it would have been. And it is a lung, so it'll take it down. And that leaves us now with only kangaroos and red fox. Now, I'd like to think that red fox will attack. It seems kangaroos flee, and I kind of thought Axis Deer may do the same. I'd love if they would charge, but we will definitely have plenty of time in this event to find out as we have another angry feral hog. And amazingly, kind of like the feral goat with the crossbow pistol earlier, it actually isn't down yet, but it's a cool opportunity to get to see the skin. You get to see all those characters that I did not see at all when we were getting ready to take the shot, but... I want to trophy shot this, so I guess we're going to use the crossbow pistol. I really don't want to shoot him in the head. So, something like that, I thought. Might have to shoot in the head. I just didn't want to have the bullet hole or little bolt sticking out. I mean, I guess you got to do what you got to do, because that did nothing. And that took him down immediately, so just a matter of shot placement. Stop making liver the second time. Abraxas. Interesting name. Let's quickly trophy shot this, and then hopefully we can find a kangaroo, and again, I'm, I'm hoping the red fox will attack us and make that one easy, but we shall see. I'm gonna say this will work for now, and we'll get on to the last couple of species. Finally, we actually get to find one of these things. So I saw in the objectives, they call them like a ghost -a which is a cool name to be honest, but I swear like I saw it as it spooked and it like appeared there. So I wonder if they actually aren't visible until they spook or something like that. Regardless, it is hopping literally right to us with no collars. So that's pretty useful. Gonna be tough, I think, to get it, but look like a good enough hit hopefully to bring it down. I really don't wanna have to do that again. Let's see what the blood looks like good and bright. So that will be the next to last species that we haven't yet gotten out here, and maybe even better, really did not go all that far, so not a bad deal. That was double lung, so not half bad. Goes to Rue indeed, and a 35 score, so again, we'll take a quick trophy shot, especially given the fact that they are seemingly not very easy to find. This should be interesting. I think the water affects the other species the same way it's always affected the werewolves, Basically, they'll attempt to charge, run into water, and then just flee. So I'm pretty sure we're fine. You can see, like, the blood on the feet there. This is very similar, if not the exact same model, as the one from, it was like around 2015 or somewhere in there. So I say we use this trophy shot pose. And I'm not sure what's up with the thing under its eye. I don't know if that's for all of them or if this one just happens to have, like, a little bit of a bug. But... This might be my favorite trophy shot out of everything, and probably, considering that the animals show up where they regularly do, the best move is going to be to fast travel to here and see if we can get a fox. So finally we get to see, even if it is super briefly, the last species there. A red fox was kind of sneaking in there behind us. That I think was still a lung hit with the Wolfsbane 308. I wanted to actually get to use that today. And fortunately, we were able to get it. I didn't get a good look at it, but I kind of thought it resembled the Axis Deer. I don't know if the caliber is really taken into account here when it comes to how quickly it takes things down, but I'd like to think it ain't going to go too far. Oh boy. Not again. Just when I thought we were almost done. More of these rabbits to deal with. At least that seemed close and in front of us. Again, though, you just don't hear their little footsteps. Until they're right there. I never did hear it, just happened to see it. I highly doubt it's on its own, too, but at least we got the thing. 1652 score. That was 
100% harvest value, so that was something anyway. Hopefully our fox isn't far, we don't have to deal with all that again. Now that was interesting. I see it actually. I don't know if it's gonna attack, but the problem is, we got another one of these little demon rabbits. I do wonder, oh boy, could it be that the fox is just, that's its kind of cry that it's about to attack? There's the other rabbit coming in. I only heard the two, so I think that's all we gotta deal with for now. Did the fox hang around and was it even the same one? Because I have absolutely no idea. At least we're doing a little better here. Got two out of the three. And maybe this one will go down, maybe it won't. The fox is just standing there. So what I'm kind of thinking is happening. Let's actually go 308 because we have a more precise aiming point. I think that's the one that we shot. And I'm guessing that it's like... Bug trying to bed down, but it can't? What is happening? We could be aiming just low of the brain, I guess. How is it still alive? It just tipped over, and naturally, we get to deal with another rabbit. Maybe it's just not gonna come over here? Let's just get our fox and see what the heck happened. We had four hits, lung... And then Skull three times. Just completely failed to hit the brain, but we'll trophy shot this too. We're safe, I think. In trophy shot mode anyway. And you know, this might be the creepiest of them all just for the eyes, but I really want to know if they attack. I think what was happening there was it wanted to bed down from the lung hit, but there's no laying down animation for Red Fox or Coyotes. I swear I heard something and I feel oh, I thought it was going to be the rabbit. The goat's fine, as long as it's not rabbits. But anyway, if you spy shot a red fox or a coyote, they kind of just stand there sometimes. So I'm pretty sure that's all that was. I really wanted to heart shot that while it was standing there, but that's not going to be a fatal hit anyway. I just want to get away from the rabbit area. But we did get to see everything on this map. And there's a couple of things I'm really looking forward to as we go forward. Number one is going to be... Trying to get like a trophy size of all these species as we have one more thing in this werewolf coming in. The other thing though is, I really have been wanting to work on the crossbow pistol and improving harvest. And this is the best way to do it with the wolfsbane variant anyway. So I'm going to be probably doing a lot of crossbow pistol hunting as this event unfolds. But if these werewolves want to come over here, there's an albino that worked out pretty good. We will see. Up to 370, not bad. That could be one worth taxing. Just because what we do every year is try to tax our best albino and best common. Not half bad. Darn near missed out on a pretty good albino as we we're getting ready to wrap up. So let's go ahead and claim these. The female, we got brain and heart, not bad. As for the albino, I want to say 354 was our best ever. That guy's a 332, so I th we're going to stream this later today. I think we're not going to tax it just yet, but if we don't have a better one by the end of the stream, probably we'll tax it just to be safe. That's one where I could definitely see myself not ending up getting a bigger one just with bad luck. I'd like to think in previous events, I'd be pretty confident that we would top it, but with all these other species running around, you never really know. So we are just going to... Probably go with something like that for now. And I think now officially that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.